Hey guys, today I'm going to be comparing the Optotronics 150mW Premium from Optotronics to the Wicked Lasers 200mW E3. First off, I will just show you the looks of these lasers. And this is the Optotronics 150mW Premium. It looks pretty nice, it's got the pen style, no safety features, and it's just bu press a button. And it, it looks pretty nice, it's got a nice feel pretty good quality and it just says laser pointer right there nothing special um it just has that little sticker right there and it says doesn't really say anything maybe it does it says one un, under 150 milliwatt and this is apparently according to the slip I got 163 milliwatt so that's kind of off as you can see it's bright right now I do have problems with this laser sometimes it fluctuates like the beam it's pretty visible right now but overall it I don't know why it fluctuates that's the optotronics and this is the E3 that I got the other day from five months of a wait um it says E3 right there I like this laser a lot better so far just because it feels a lot better but it's completely up to preference. It's got the FDA compliant, that's the safety thing right there, which pretty much Fs with the laser, so don't mess with that <laughs> if you do have one of these lasers and you haven't messed with it already. It's got removable caps, all that good stuff, battery. They both take AAA batteries. This one does not have removable caps. You can't get any lens kits or anything. And these are both on, on full battery. Next, I will be doing a balloon popping demonstration, and I'll start off with the uh, Optotronics. I'll be popping two lasers for each laser. Two laser. Two balloons for each laser, sorry. And let's just go ahead and do it. I'll be doing this freehand for just because, to be fair, I don't know. There's that one. It pops it pretty quick. Okay, that's optotronics, pretty fast. And here's the E3. There's that one, and there's that one. It didn't pop it, it just deflated it. Awesome. Just what we needed. Okay, well that was just a demonstration of these. And next I'll do a beam video. Let's go ahead and turn off the lights real quick. Sorry if it's too dark or anything. Okay, this is the uh, Optotronics right here. As you can see, the beam is pretty visible right now, but with my look, it won't happen. The beam fluctuates, like, it goes from really visible to barely visible. That's the beam of the Optotronics pretty bright and here is the what 200 milliwatt E3 as you can see it's a little bit more visible and they're both on full battery so that shouldn't be a variable uh, this thing's fun to point with alright hold on let me go turn on the lights again Okay, so overall, the Optotronics cost me $180, and the E3 plus shipping cost me $103. If you want your laser right away, I would go with Optotronics. It took me like six days total to get this after the day I ordered it, and it came in four days after shipping. And it's a nice laser, don't get me wrong, I love this laser, but... The E3 overall, in my opinion, is a better laser just because I ha I've had a lot of problems with it other than the compliant cap as I, as I have explained in other videos. And it's just brighter and it pops and burns with things a lot faster. And I like the looks of it better. <laughs> um, the sticker on it does say 5 milliwatts as I've stated previously. It's just a factory, or a factory problem I guess. But that was just a comparison of the E3 
and the uh, Optotermics 150 milliwatt. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys later.